happy Sabbath, kids. You want to say hi? You're so cheery early in the morning. That's amazing. How about you? This is like, what in the world, Mika? <laughs> I'm still trying to wake up. Hi, Goose. It is 6.52 a.m. and we're up early because we have to be here. We, we have to be out of the house by 8.30. So that is so soon, so we gotta go. <sighs> this place that we are going to is an hour and a half away. Or this church that we're going to, the other church. And it's still super dark outside. I think waking up right now is late because I only have an hour to get ready. Not hours to get ready myself, but an hour to get myself ready and help get the kids ready. And <sighs> this is what I'll be wearing today. <sighs> Very casual. And when we travel, I like to be casual. And the reason why it's long is because I'm always bending over rolling around the floor, picking up the babies, doing this and that. And the best way to do that is to wear a long dress so nobody can see, you know, your goods and stuff. So, very appropriate. And plus I'm a mom. I'm not going to be wearing, you know, hmm, or hmm, but hmm. Okay, finally done getting ready. What time is it? 7.50. <laughs> <gasps> okay. Are they dressed already? No, they just finished eating breakfast. Oh, let me go. Okay, I'll dress them. You go get ready now. Wait, don't leave yet. Um, diapers? No. <sighs> Good thing the bag is all ready. Yeah. What are you doing, weirdo? Okay, you guys, let's go. It's crunch time. It's crunch time. Let's go. Go! Thank you. Look at you, you look like you kind of look like you're about to go um, jump off a plane, like skydive or something. Though. Yeah. It's coming off. Yeah. Didn't mommy just fix your hair? Yeah. Hmm? Do you like my dress? You look beautiful. I can twirl in it. It's from my leg. Look how handsome he looks. Wow. He's so weak or suave. <laughs> The road again. Mean. Excuse me? <laughs> Backup singer, please, can you do that again? <laughs> On the road again. <laughs> Going an hour. Ow! Yeah, it's <laughs> but it's beautiful. Hold on. I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll show you in a second. Okay. Um, see? It's so nice. You can see the the silhouette of the trees with the sun shining like that. The silhouette of Luisa's face. Please you break your camera. <laughs> but we are going an hour and a half, right? An hour and a half away? Yeah. I'm finally gonna drink my smoothie. Mmm. Mmm. Avocado banana smoothie is so good. What? You have two? Yeah, I made you one. No, I mean. Yeah, we have two of these. One, because one is Eliana's. Right? This is Eliana's. Oh, it's but, mm. We haven't seen the river in, in like a week. Oh, it's, you know, it's going down. Not that bad. Oh, yeah. Not as bad as it was before. 
so. Imagine if we were living in Bible times and we were, and you also had a dis district, you were. You were a district. It, um, it's early in the morning, so. Uh, my language in early in the morning is no or hurry up. So, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, Imagine if you were in Bible times. Oh, oh yeah, were imagine if you were in Bible times and you were um, a district pastor back then and you had to travel to McCook. There are no cars, really. So what would you do? You're donkey. gonna You're gonna travel by donkey. A horse. You're gonna travel by a horse Cherry. an hour and a half away and by horse and donkey it's pretty it's slower than walking. What? Yeah, donkeys are pretty slow. Then I'll take a horse. They're pretty fast. I know, but what would you do if you had to do this every weekend? You had to travel super mm -hmm. far because you know how God says um, He puts you in a place and you you evangelize there. But this, He gives you three churches, and they're an hour away, yeah. half an hour away down the street. God doesn't give you what you can't, Handle. what you're comfortable with. You know, He makes you want to step out of your comfort zone, which this is pushing it. But we're glad. At least we have a car, you know? I know. But I, I wouldn't mind doing a, a horse type thing. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> and in Bible times, the wife stays home, so I'll be doing that. Yeah. I'll be staying. But um, I really don't mind the drive. The drive is so pretty out here. All you see are farms. All you see are barns, horses. Oh, there's a horse right now. Um, Llamas. There was one verse that uh, I was looking at this morning downstairs. In John 14, 3, Jesus says, If I go, I will come again. Because where I am going, I'm going to go prepare a place for you. So that we can be together. I know I'm paraphrasing, but that's, that's a very important promise. Because a lot of us get depressed or get stressed out with life problems. And we forget that Jesus has a special plan for all of us. And the only reason he hasn't come back is because he's giving the opportunity for many more people to hear his name. And once that does happen, he'll come back and take us all home. little church well probably bigger but oh we're here maker barbara maker didn't know you guys were coming today i've been we've been uh on a vacation oh we were here last week so good to see you you see it too <laughs> m and m right oh no, i don't know if they have a mother's room which i hope they do Sabbath school class for little kids. There's a downstairs. Oh, no, no, upstairs. Well, where's the mother's room? That's what I need to know. <laughs> um, where do you think you're going? You're crawling like you know the place. It used to be the cry room, but then kind of. So, no mother's room, I'm guessing. Come in here. One bed, I mean, the bathroom upstairs. Come in here. Just for both, you know. Come in here. Both. Service school class. Yeah. Yay! Yay! A, B, C, D. Yeah, you can only grab two at once. Bunny. Oh, 
어, 단도새. 치키치키치키치키. <웃음> 치키치키. But we always get this stench from from cattle. And it, it's terrible to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, we have to drive to right now I'm at like 10 hours today. You've been out here for 10 hours already? No, thank you. Yeah. No. Well, folks, we finally made it back home. There's Abby Wabby. <laughs> Doing it. And the kids. Um, yeah, food everywhere. Anyways. Hey, they, they. I think they, they're getting the point that they're recording us. Let's do something funny. Yeah, babe, you want to go for a walk? No. Why? I just got back. Can I just like sit in one place for like five seconds? All right, five seconds. No. It's not potato. It's called jicama. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's Mexican. It's just a, a root. The way we used to eating in Mexico is you pour this on top, pour some of this bad boy over it, and some salt. But I don't want to do that. I just want to use some of this. It's uh, it's called tahin. This is what they look like afterwards. I put that lime in here and put some of this in here. And now for the moment of truth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm good. Guys. So it's just us right now. I'm gonna give Abby a little break. She's she's exhausted. So we're gonna go for a little walk. It's a bit windy um, out there. Um, so she'll be alright. Not, not, not too hot. Uh, nice and fresh. Um, I don't know where to go. I guess we'll just walk and walk until sundown. Just kidding. My trustworthy disciples here, my fellow followers. Lucy, Mike. <laughs> I can't wait to start turning on this chimney. I am going to get some firewood on Monday and piling up in the backyard so that we can, you know, roast some veggie marshmallows. So what's for dinner is leftover red curry. Actually, vegetable red curry. It's good. Mm. Well, it's good. She kind of thinks you're scary, so can you just back away? She's like me. She's like, give me some space. Okay, leave her alone now. Cookies and bars. Um, I make a lot of cookies, so I was thinking of more making... <gasps> Ooh, oh, and hazelnut morsels. That's a, that's a cookie, though, so... I oh, know, I'm already thinking Christmas. This is a recipe book where you can make treats that are made for um, jars. And since I collect a lot of jars, see there's one on curry coconut lentil soup. Coconut peppermint crackle cookie mix. And then a lot more in here. I also have a 
vegan simplicity cookbook but i think i want to try i, I really want to try a lentil soup i've never had lentil soup i've never made i've never made lentil soup i've always just had you know boiled lentils and put on top of rice with a little salt <gasps> hey babe they have risotto in here okay dokie these are so cute but i find them so scary sometimes i'm gonna have some stress relief tea because today right now i actually have a headache um earlier this morning i almost threw up are you pregnant no it was strictly after i had that avocado smoothie i don't know what it was maybe because i um it's not a good morning breakfast smoothie because after I had water, maybe a glass of water, I was just fine. And so now I have a headache right now. And then Luis is gonna have some, some just regular green tea and some yummy, yummy honey. And I hope you love my mug. It's given to me by Vanessa and Kay. Thank you, girls. I love it, and you know that. What time did they say they're coming over? Yeah, an hour after. After sundown? Yeah. Two. I think today I'm just gonna have one. Keep it on the plate because the bottom is sticky. And the honey. I know, I learned that already. How did you learn it the hard way? I was, I was trying to put something and I held it to my stomach and I tried to put it up and my, my shirt went like this. I'm like, oh. Okay, your, your tea is ready. Ready. Oh, man. I have a headache. I have a big headache, actually. So. What is so funny? Tony caught me. Why? Because he, he sent me a photo of this uh, Star Wars character and I didn't know who it was so I used Google and then he's, he's and I told him who it was and then he says Google is fast and I said hee hee <laughs> <laughs> Night everyone, hope my headache goes away Happy end of the Sabbath and I hope you enjoyed what our Sabbath was like pretty much every weekend yeah. Busy busy busy